Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to review Falling Dark by Tom Lloyd. It's the find of a lifetime, an ancient alien spaceship hanging in the forgotten corners of space. For Song, this could change everything because she has as many problems with her finances as she does her marriage. But perhaps finally her passion for wreck diving is going to pay off. It conforms to nothing in their records and dwarfs the largest human vessel. Ancient and battle-scarred is a mausoleum of a long-forgotten race. And it's just winked at her. I really enjoyed how this played with the genre because at first it seemed to present as an interesting first contact story. We find something unusual in space and we're going to go and find out what's going on. And then we veer towards the horror and I have seen this described as a haunted house in space which really does fit quite well. This ramps up the tension wonderfully as we go through and uses the claustrophobic feeling of wearing a spacesuit to really enhance that tension to a fantastic effect. Add in that creeping sense of danger, some jump scares, and that atmosphere is just absolutely entrancing. Most of this story is from Song's perspective, and while there were three other crew members on board the ship with her, we don't really get a huge sense of their characters. We get an idea about them when we meet them for the first time, but beyond that, it's only really Song who's developed. She wants to explore, but she does understand the need for caution. She's trying to do right for her family to bring in some money, and there is a touch of regret there, but she's also quite hopeful. The ship they're on travels for weeks at a time, and as I said, while we don't get to know the crew that well, the sense that they know each other and have spent a long time living in each other's pockets really does come through. It feels like there is that history of friendship and living and working together. There wasn't a huge amount of world building in this, I mean the whole thing comes in at under 200 pages, but what was created was a really solid feeling world with some really interesting touches. I've come across humans searching through space for ancient alien technology a few times and this was a really enjoyable version of it. The writing style was easy to become swept up in and I found it really easy to picture what was going on. Perhaps a little too easy at times when the tension was really ramped up. This huge spaceship is not made for humans and yet the descriptions of it were on the one hand satisfyingly alien but on the other side described in a way that made approaching it accessible. I did have a few unanswered questions by the end, but generally as a whole this ties up nicely, it seems to be a standalone, and I really enjoyed exploring this world. I just wish there was more of this world to explore. I read this on Kindle Unlimited and I've added it to my list of Kindle Unlimited books to get a physical copy of at some point when there is some book budget to be had. So if you have read this or some of Tom Lloyd's other stuff, I would love to know your thoughts. Thanks for watching and I shall see you all soon.